keep kind of asking the same sort of obvious questions, but basically just after a couple of weeks, how do you feel uh, as far as, you know, having been in somewhat live stuff, having to throw the ball around, move around a lot, how is the knee feel and just how, how does the rest of your game feel at this point? Yeah, um, I feel real good. You know, I feel like um, offense definitely we're making a lot of plays. You know, a lot of guys making plays. Myself personally, as far as the knee, I'm, I'm feeling real good. I feel like I'm, I'm ready to play. So I know September 4th comes, I know I'll be ready 100% with uh, no concerns. Michael, can you, uh, I know Coach Allen uh, just mentioned on Saturday that the offense was uh, sort of won that game against the defense, which doesn't usually happen in an early scrimmage. Uh, and he kind of raved about you and, and all three quarterbacks, really. But uh, so t if you could tell us a little bit what was going on out there for you guys to have success and, and, uh, and how close were people getting to you in that scrimmage? Yeah, um, let me answer the second question first. Um, Coach Allen he, is quick whistle every time. You know, even sometimes I want to use my legs a little bit. You know, he's going to call a quick whistle. So, you know, um, I understand. You know, he, he's just looking out for me, looking out for this team. Um, but as far as scrimmage, you know, on the offside of the ball, we just executed. You know, uh, we executed the simple things. You know, we made sure that we um, just did our assignments, you know, trusted each other. And uh, the guys on the outside made plays. We had running backs making plays. And, and I was just doing my best to get on the ball and just make sure that we was in the right protection, make sure we was in the right place. So everything went smoothly. And that's how I went Saturday. And that wasn't just me. It was also the other two quarterbacks as well that, that was getting a lot of reps on Jack and um, Donovan. So, you know, we were just executing the small things. And I feel like, um, once we do that, you know, we're, we're a great team. Michael, talk about uh, the scrimmage. It was as close to game action as you've been for quite a while. I know you're not getting hit by now, but what was that like to be in that moment and run, going through those reads and actually being a part of live play? Yeah, um, it felt good. Um, you know, we, we go against the defense every day, um, but obviously the scrimmage, you know, we're on the game field, you know, just getting a little feel for everything, you know, but um, I feel like it went good, you know, uh, for it being our first scrimmage, you know, offense definitely showed a lot of great things, you know, defense showed a lot of great things as well. Um, but uh, I feel like it was definitely something to build off of, you know, um, I feel like we, we still we, we still got some more stuff to work on, but, you know, I definitely feel like we're definitely in a good spot right now. Michael, talk a little about the route running the other day and, and the improvement of the some of the new guys you got, you know what you have in Ty, uh, some of the new guys that are developing and uh, who's caught your eye and also, uh, how was it throwing in that secondary uh, that's much improved this year? Yeah, um, we, we, yeah, we got a lot of guys stepping up. Um, you know, we have uh, DJ Matthews, uh, the transfer came in. You know, he's been with us since spring. You know, he, he's, he's just elevating, you know. Um, he, he's a guy that, that's going to make a lot of big plays for us. Um, we got Jacoby Hewitt. You know, he's still he, – he was here last year. Um, he had played last year, got his first uh, catch last year against Penn State on the big catch over the middle. You know, he, he's been making a lot of plays, you know, definitely showing a lot of great things out there on the field. Um, Cam Buckley, you know, he, he's been doing good as well, you know, um, doing everything right, you know, make sure that, you know, he, he gets his depth and routes and stuff like that. Um, Javon Swinton, you know, um, a guy that, that showed up Penn State game that last drive as well, you know, as a freshman. Um, so I feel like we ha definitely have a lot of guys out there doing a lot of things right. And um, definitely a lot of guys that's definitely going to make a lot of big plays for us this year. You know, obviously, like, like you said, we have Ty back. You know, that's a great, that's a great um, thing for us on the offside of the ball. You know, Ty's going to make plays um, all the time, you know. But it's good to have those weapons out there. You know, we still have Miles as well. So Miles definitely going to um, make some big plays for us too as well. Griffin and Kevin. Mike, you've had to go through a lot to get back here. I mean, three season-ending injuries. Go back to that Maryland game last year, all the way back to here. We're getting ready for a full comeback on September 4th. Kind of off the field for a second, your mentality, your mission to come back. What has it been like for you, and how do you keep it going after hit after hit after hit? Yeah, um, I'll just say just trust, trusting in everything that's going on. You know, um, I believe everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I have a lot of great people around me, you know, keeping me positive, you know, make sure that I stay up, make sure that, that I'm here, you know, all, every day doing the rehab, you know, even the days I, I, I possibly don't want to, you know, it, it might not feel as good some days. Well, I, I'm past those days now, but, you know, back then, you know, um, when I don't feel good, you know, it's just those guys always in my ear, in my corner, you know, always make sure that I stay positive. You know, um, our rehab guy, Jacob, um, he's been doing a great job with me. You know, he pushes me every day. Um, he, he definitely pushed me to my, uh, push me as, as hard as he can because he knows, he knows um, what's at stake. He knows what I want to do. You know, he, he knows I want to be great. And, you know, he pushes that, pushes me uh, every day. And he makes sure that I, I understand that, you know, the things that he's doing for me is always good. So, um, I trust the, trust the trainer staff, you know, uh, the guys around me, just keeping me positive, keeping my head up. Kevin and Dustin. 
Yeah, Mike, uh, you know, Ryder Anderson talked a little bit about the offensive line, uh, thought it really had potential to be a fairly strong unit this year. I'm just curious about maybe your initial impressions and, and how they performed in the scrimmage. Yeah, the offensive line definitely is, is, is making huge steps. You know, they're stepping up a lot. You know, we got um, a lot of guys that played a lot of football. You know, um, I feel like they're definitely doing real good. You know, they're doing their jobs, and, and they're, they're definitely working hard. You know, and that, that's, that came from our offseason. You know, I was watching them guys working out and stuff like that. You know, these, like those guys definitely want to be great. So um, that's definitely good uh, on, on our side of the ball. And, you know, they, we just continue to push them every day. You know, Coach Allen ch- challenges them every day. You know, he's always on the microphone, like yelling at them, make sure that they, they stay up because um, he, know, he knows that, you know, we need those guys. You know, it starts up front. So um, I feel like they're doing a great job, you know, and I feel like it's, do- it's definitely going to be a great season for them guys. Michael, how do, you, how do you feel like you've improved mechanically uh, since you got here, especially over this offseason? It seems like you've always had a lot of velocity on the ball. It seems like you've added a lot of touch, though, especially on deep balls. How have you tried to work on that? What have you done as far as motion is concerned to fix everything? And, and how do you think you're a just better passer? Yeah, um, just, just working on accuracy. You know, um, I feel like I can make a lot of throws in the pocket. You know, I, I feel like I can make any throw in the pocket. You know, just working on some, you know, um, off-platform stuff, you know, out-of-the-pocket stuff on the run. You know, uh, just coming off the injury, make sure I can still go on the run, you know, plant, you know, set up when I have to and stuff like that. So I, I, I definitely been working on that this offseason. Um, you know, just make sure that I, I just stay sound, you know, make sure that, like, I, I go back and look at the film and just looking at my mechanics, make sure my feet are set and my target, make sure I got a good base and stuff like that. You know, um, if I don't make a throw, I, I try to figure out why I didn't make it and make it up after practice, you know. Um, so just those little things, you know, just make sure that, you know, if I, if I didn't make a throw in practice, I, I make sure I get it out to practice, you know, uh, rep it over and over so, you know, we don't have those mistakes and those misses whenever we need them. You know, um, we treat every play like a big play, so we, we got to make sure that we um, complete all those passes. So if something is not completed, you know, just make sure that we get the extra work in with that receiver, that same receiver, the same spot on the field, you know, just make sure that we continue to rep and just be, be sound.